Azrusana or Ustrashana was a former Iranian region in Transoxiana, home to the Principality of Ushrasana, an important pre-Islamic polity of Central Asia. Ashrasana lay to the south of the great, southernmost bend of the Sir Darya and extended roughly from Samarkand to Kujand. The capital city of Ashrasana was Bunjakot. The exact form of the Iranian name Azrasana is not clear from the sources, but the forms given in Hudud al Alam indicate an original Sorasna. From the 5th to the 7th century CE, Ashrasana was part of the territory of the Hephthalites, followed by the Western Turks after 560 CE. The principality probably retained a certain level of autonomy throughout this period and was ruled directly by the Ashins of the Qavis dynasty. The rulers of the principality of Ashrasana went by the title of Afshin, and the most famous of whom was Garbi. Kavus. Our early knowledge of the ruling family of Ashrasana is derived from the accounts by the Islamic historians of the final subjugation of that region by the Abbasid caliphs and the submission of its rulers to Islam. During the time when the first Arab invasion of the country took place under Taba ibn Muslim, Ashrasana was inhabited by an Iranian population, ruled by its own princes who bore the traditional title of Aksid or Afshin. The first invasion by the Arabs did not result in them controlling the area. According to the Encyclopedia of Islam, in 119-737 AD the Turkic enemies of the governor Azad b. Abdallah al-Ghazri fell back on Yusrushana. Nasr b. Sayar subdued the country in completely in 121-739, and the Afshin again made a nominal submission to Mahdi. Under Mamun, the country had to be conquered again and a new expedition was necessary in 207-822. On this last occasion, the Muslim army was guided by Haidar, the son of the Afshin Kawus, who on account of dynastic troubles had sought refuge in Baghdad. This time the submission was complete, Kawus abdicated and Haidar succeeded him, later to become one of the great nobles of the court of Baghdad under Ulmutasim, where he was known as Al-Afshin. His dynasty continued to reign until 280-893, after this date, the country became a province of the Samanids and ceased to have an independent existence while the Iranian element was eventually almost entirely replaced by the Turkic. Bunjakot wall painting of Goddess Nana, 8th-9th century. Fighting figure with bow and spear, Azrushana. However, during the reign of the Caliph Almaty the Ashin of Ashrasana is mentioned among several Iranian and Turkic rulers of Transoxania and the Central Asian steppes who submitted nominally to him. But it was not until Harun al-Rashid's reign in 794-95 that Fatal ibn Yahya of the Barmakids led an expedition into Transoxania and received the submission of the ruling Akin, this Karakana had never previously humbled himself before any other potentate. Further expeditions were nevertheless sent to Ashrasana by Mamun when he was governor in Marv and after he had become caliph. Afshin Kavis, son of the Afshin Karakana who had submitted to Fatal ibn Yahya, withdrew his allegiance from the Arabs, but shortly after Mamun arrived in Baghdad from the east. A power struggle and dissensions broke out among the reigning family of Ashrasana. Kawa's son Kedar, known by his royal title of Ashin, became a general in the Abbasid army and fought against Kuramite rebels and their leader Babak Karamdin in Azerbaijan. In 841 Ashin was arrested in Samara on suspicion of plotting against the caliphate. A single location was used for the crucifixion of Afshin, Maziar, and Babak's corpses. After his death Ustrashana was Islamified whereas before he preserved temples from ruin. There are indications that semi-autonomous Afshins continued to rule over the Ustrashana after control of the region was wrested from the Abbasids by the Safarids and, soon after, the Samanids. Thanks for watching.